starting a new job on Monday and it's a teaching job. So the kids are going to call me either Mr. or Mrs. Jamie. Yeah, holding it down for the cool table man and we right back at you and you know what's funny is that we live in a society that still has these perpetual burdens right constantly trying to learn new language constantly trying to change and adjust for those that want to be the smallest segment of the community and of the world and of our world and them imposing their position or their beliefs or their ideology or their terminology upon us and even though this is kind of a lighthearted situation, this is a lighthearted thing, it really illuminates and shows exactly what I am speaking about, uh, mm -hmm. just in how the particular person that uh, is there, you know, representing that, that particular community responds. But I still found it funny and I thought it was cool to share and I just wanted y'all to get a nice chuckle and have a great day as well. Uh, if you haven't seen it in full, check it out. This is how to talk to an LGBTQIA plus person. <laughs> what? Let's begin. Who are you? And what are you? Why are you? And where is it? And how are you? Why? <laughs> on Monday and it's a teaching job so the kids are going to call me either Mr. or Mrs. Jamie it depends on what I want but I as a non-binary being I don't know what to pick I feel like Mrs. would be easier for the kids but Mr. makes me feel better but I also kind of want to try mix but I don't know if they, like, the kids can do that I don't know and then what do they do when they ask me if I'm a boy or a girl I'm not <laughs> I don't know it's young kids my class is gonna be four-year-olds she claims she's not a boy or girl. She's teaching four-year-olds. What are you doing? You do not! Hey! You do not! What the hell is even that? What are you doing? What? Hey. You do not take pictures of me! Loud noises! Look what you're doing. Right! Look what you're doing, kid! <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh. I thought you were um trying to lose weight. Lay off me, I'm starving. First travel together. We got the family. Hi Kyle. Hi baby. Do you see yourself in the camera? Oh, hi Pat. Hi Rebecca. Hi. Look at me, Rebecca. Hi. hi. Where's Bian? Hi, Bian. And we're off to a good start. Oh look, I just saw a lovely nibs of TikTok video on Twitter and I tweeted that teacher looks like a bit of a groomer. Same page. If you don't look like a girl, get the f out of the girl's bathroom. I don't position. think you belong in the girl's bathroom. But you wouldn't, my love, you wouldn't know. Hold on, like, but before you're you saying, a lot of the issues that we're having is the divide where it's competition, my love. We're like we're dating the same men. We're rather, we want not dating the yeah, same. Yeah, you we are, baby. Trust me. <laughs> no, we are. Not. We are. I don't know about dating. Yes, the same we are. Man. We're dating the same dude. I think there's... that there's a competitive aspect to where like Carolina. You this would is not where I know. just full on cut you off. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Or if you don't get it, you can just say my name. You can say Parker. Would you like to present now? That makes any sense. What would happen? And they and them is considered multiple. 
Why are you so being, closed-minded right now? I'm not being closed-minded. You I'm are. Being, you're so being too open-minded. You, you're so open-minded. Open open yes, you are. And I agree. Open. That don't make no sense. I don't I know what Dan does I called you a beautiful young lady. I'm what you are. I'm sorry, you're an old lady. I'm done with this. This is my kids. Is no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. trans and trying to go get your medication I literally walk up there the, la the lady on the phone is like oh can I have your last name and so I give it to her she's like oh okay I'll meet you out there and I'll give you your prescription right so I'm waiting and she comes out and then she says oh is this for and then she says my dead name and I'm like my name is Rylan and she just looks at me and then she puts the medication on the table and shuts the door and locks it behind her. <laughs> Every fucking day, there's just a fucking break from being dehumanized on the internet, in person, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fucking everywhere. The nails. Don't get a close-up of my nails. No. I, listen, I've been on a roll. I'm going to do like this. But I'm, we see a pop of color. Yeah. What was the impetus for it? Expression. Expression. Yeah, expression. You know, I'm, a, I'm creative. I'm expressive. And there's so many ways to do that. Your nails look better than mine. Don't do that. Don't do that. They do. Don't do that. So when are we getting the new manicure? You know, I'm work. I, I'm, I'm working. On, I'm thinking about like I'm actually thinking about jumping into the nail line. Like, oh really? World. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Like I've been in it so long, and I'm like, you know what? It could be a good time. But I got some cool ideas that I'm exploring. So this is breaking news. Actually, I need to tell you guys. I've been having some conversations on my own about exploring. And I got a couple of ideas, and one of my ideas is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to this is actually sitting down with my daughter and getting my nails painted and painting hers. That's the time. That's the time that we get to connect. Right. Me doing something that she loves and also that I love. Um, I give her medis and petties as yeah. well. Yeah, 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 yeah.